It's about 9.30 a.m. right now. I'm not gonna be one of those people who lies and say they get up at five o'clock so they can study and work out, because I usually sleep until around this time. I want this to be an honest day in the life, so I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Um, I usually sleep in, and if you guys can hear right now, they're pressure washing the side of my apartment right now. So I'm going to take a shower so this goes away, um, and hopefully they're done by the time I get back. All right, there we go. So usually when I get up around this time, I'll have a cup of coffee or I'll have maybe an energy drink. Um, that's what I have right here. I have some Mio energy. But then the main thing I do with this early is kind of just administrative stuff. I'll look at my school email, my work email, make sure I don't have anything important to do that day, any assignments or any assignments for work. But I will be talking more about work later. So, so today is a Wednesday, so I do have three classes. The first one will be an introduction to R. And basically what we're doing there is using the R coding language um, to kind of get a, a basic idea of data analytics and data science. The second one will be time series analysis. That's basically exactly what it sounds like. And then the last one of the day will be stochastic modeling. Um, that's where we are attempting to model random processes using statistics. Um, and it's probably my most interesting class. So in addition to these three classes, I am taking three other classes this semester as well. So those three courses are mathematical statistics, introduction to business analytics, and introduction to SAS. So since I have six classes this semester, it's kind of a lot on my plate as I go through the semester. And also three of these classes are some of the hardest I've had to take so far in my major. Um, so it's, it's pretty intense. I have a lot on my plate, but I'm starting to get used to the kind of workflow that I have to go through to succeed. But for right now, I'm gonna get some breakfast and then I'm gonna get started on some homework. And so now that I had some breakfast and I'm about to get started on my homework, I just wanted to let you guys know if anybody is watching this with, you know, a goal of being a statistics student, or maybe you're interested, um, first of all, let me know down in the comments. But a piece of advice I do have for you is there's two things that you have to be comfortable with. Um, first off, which is something that I wasn't super comfortable with at first, but I'm slowly becoming more and more comfortable with, is you have to be very used to doing math. And you have to do math in a different way than you probably ever had to do it before. Um, a lot of probability, which I had never dealt with up until college. Um, it's kind of a different way of thinking. Um, the, the second thing you had to be comfortable with is doing learning new uh, technology and new coding languages. Um, this is something I was not expecting at all. I had to learn R, which really isn't that bad. I've had to do a lot with Python, a lot with Excel. There's a lot of things that you have to kind of start to get comfortable with if you want to be a stats major. Um, but just with that piece of advice, I'm going to hop into my homework and hopefully get most of it done by the time I have class. So for this assignment, we have to take a list of baby names from the 1880s on to 2013. Um, and we just kind of have to do some exploratory data analysis in R. Um, so I'm gonna work on this and hopefully finish it up in the next hour or so. So in that homework, we were focusing on some uh, data analysis on a baby names data set that went back to 1880. So that was pretty cool. And then I also looked over some stuff for one of my stats classes. Um, but now I'm headed to campus. I'm going to catch the bus. So I will see you guys there.
All right, guys, I just got back from class. Um, so in my three classes, the first thing we talked about uh, in introduction to R, we talked about some kind of data analysis. We talked about grouping by variables, uh, mutating variables, transmuting variables, that kind of thing. In my time series analysis class, we talked about what type of model would be estimating um, a time series based on its autocorrelation function. And then in my stochastic modeling class, we talked about the exponential distribution and some cool properties behind it. But now that I'm home, I'm going to make some dinner. I'm going to eat that up and then I'm going to study for two exams that I have tomorrow. So let's do that. All right, that's going to be it for a day in the life of a statistics student at Penn State University. Um, if you want to see anything else about my daily routine or my life as a statistics student, let me know down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one.